People will only be permitted to leave home for specific reasons, including for education, for work if you cannot work from home, for exercise and recreation outdoors, with your household or on your own, or with one person from another household or support bubble, for medical reasons, appointments and to escape injury and harm, to shop for food and essentials, and to provide care for vulnerable people or as a volunteer. Essential shops will remain open and click and collect services will continue so people do not need to stock up. But I'm afraid that non-essential shops, leisure and entertainment venues and the personal care sector will all be closed. Hospitality must close except for takeaway and delivery services. Places of worship can open for individual prayer, funerals and formal childcare, but sadly not for services. However, Remembrance Sunday events can go ahead provided they are held outside and observe social distancing. So the Government will continue to do everything possible to support jobs and livelihoods in the next four weeks as we have throughout. We have prote protected almost 10 million jobs with furlough and we are now extending the scheme throughout November. We have already paid out £13.7 billion to help the self-employed and I can announce today that for November we will double our support from 40 to 80% of trading profits. My right honourable friend the Chancellor will also extend the deadline for applications to COVID loan schemes from the end of this month to the end of next to ensure that small businesses can have access to, to additional loans if required. That these restrictions are time limited. After four weeks on Wednesday the 2nd of December they will expire and we intend to return to a tiered system on a local and regional basis according to the latest data and trends and the House will have a vote to agree the way forward. We have updated the devolved administrations on the, on the action we are taking in England and will continue to work with them on plans for Christmas and beyond. And the way out is to get the R down now to beat this autumn surge and to use this moment to exploit the medical and technical advances we are making to keep it low. We now have not only the much better medication, the prospect of a, of a vaccine, we have the immediate prospect of many millions of cheap, reliable and rapid turnaround tests with a result in minutes.